In the early 1990s, our next presenter performed his cardiovascular fellowship at Arizona Heart under the tutelage of Dr. Dietrich. He became one of Dr. Dietrich's most surgically gifted protégés and trusted colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Julio Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Well, what a great uh, gathering. Uh, how amazing it is to see so many faces and, and people we knew through the years. I promise I will keep it short. I only have uh, 50 slides. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you that I came to Phoenix uh, in 2000. In 1993, come on. <laughs> and I was thinking, I'm going to be one of the last uh, speakers here, so what are they going to leave for me to say about this man? But I can tell you, uh, one of the things that I learned from him, and I admire the most, is his commitment, you know. And I think this is a legacy for those that, that know him, and we participate and have him as a, as a mentor. Back in 1993, I came to Phoenix. I used to have a black hair and a very nice hairdo. <laughs> that year was great for me. For once, because Sir Charles, it was taking the Phoenix Suns to the finals against Chicago Bulls. And that was great for me, which has been fans of the NBA for years. But I tell you, I paid a price. I worked very hard that year because we're supposed to be three fellows that year, but two of them never get the license of Phoenix and Arizona. So I had to do pretty much the whole work by myself. <laughs> so, you know, it's interesting that my first angioplasty, it wasn't in Phoenix, Arizona. I, didn't, I did this actually back in my training program in 1990, three years before I came to Phoenix. And I did it with a Fogarty balloon. And I know that Dr. Fogarty is around. I was ignorant about it, but I was reading a lot of papers about this man doing some sort of revolution in vascular, in vascular surgery, talking about laser and angioplasty, and two of my other uh, co-trainees in general surgery, we were enthusiastic about this because three of them, we were fans about vascular. That's what we want to do with our lives. The first one, Cuso, Dr. Santiago, some of you will remember him. He came first and uh, we keep always in touch because we will want to be a, ahead of, the, of, the, of what we're seeing as a revolution for the future. So, Dr. Lopez, I will go to there, came next. That was a very uh, famous phrase for him. So, it's interesting that back in 1990, when you read the, perhaps the most important journal for vascular surgeon, there was not a single paper about endovascular publication. Even nine years later, almost a decade, only one paper talking about endovascular surgery while Dietrich was already ahead publishing and doing a technique that almost took to the vascular surgeons of this country 15 years to come and accept it. Now, 2012, this month of February, we're still getting some papers, and this is our paper just published this month about the hybrid repair of thoracic aortic lesion. All of us that see Dietrich, uh, what it means for, for us, we see him as the man that hold the banner for almost two decades in the United States, protecting, defending a field that he had the vision it will come and it will stay. 
When we look at the publication nowadays, almost 90% of those are related to endovascular field. And most of the people accept that. The legacy of Dr. Dietrich, in my opinion, has been because his commitment with teaching, to teach in the courses, to teach, to teach during the Congress. I get involved with the fellowship program as a director, and that's been a blast for me, get to know a lot of people. When I finished my year in 1993, he came to me, I remember, in the, at the Old Humana Hospital, where is right now the Children's Hospital, in a hallway in ICU. It was almost June, finishing my fellowship training, and he asked me what, what I'm planning on doing next year. And I said, well, I'm getting out of here. I mean, I've been working like, a, like an animal here. <laughs> And he come to offer me to stay. And I don't know what happened to me, but I tell you, I decided to stay in spite of all the work that I did. And it's been almost 20 years. And I'm not, I'm not regretted a single second. Commitment to research, commitment to publication. He surrounded himself about wonderful people. People that learned also have to commit with work and with effort. Dr. Smith, a champion of research. Dr. Bahadir, which I remember in one way we did almost 18 hearts because in those days we scrubbed in the heart as well. Great people, great work. A center of excellence without comparison. All that we love this work created the EBD Vascular Society uh, just to honor our mentor 10 years ago. And every Sunday, the first week of the Congress, we gather to have a lunch and share of our experience and talk about a great time. And I want to finish saying that I tried to grasp with my hands what it should be the character of somebody that is committed with the work. Somebody that lives up to his mission statement, to care, to teach, to pioneer. I know that he doesn't use long loops like is depicted here, but I want to make sure that everybody knows that this is a virtuoso of cardiovascular surgery. Thank you very much.